Hello and welcome to another one of my films. Today I am up in Higher Pointing in Cheshire. This is just the old station on the Middlewood Way. And I'm next to the Nelson Pit car park. And what I'm going to do is just show you a different way into Lime Park. One that, to be honest, I only discovered about two weeks ago. But just to give you a heads up, there is the Boar's Head. And what we're just going to do is take a left for about five minutes on the road. You just come past some of the old workers' cottages. There was a lot of mining up here. 1880, wow. Just after five minutes or so, we just come to Shrigley Road. We're just going to walk up here just only for about 100 metres. So here we are. We're just going up Elm Beds Road. Yes, that is cobbled. So it's just literally on the corner here. <laughs> Immediately, it's another world, isn't it? Just by the White House here, the Elms, we just take a left straight through here. You can see how well worn this stone is. And we're just up onto Macclesfield Canal. a kilometer and just under 20 minutes and it's like a different world isn't it we're going over this bridge you can see an old pivot point here yeah it was an old bridge but it was opened in 1831 Macclesfield canal and was a real lifeline to the collieries that were up here for many years but now it's just become a lovely place to walk You can see that, I've just got an amazing dragonfly. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> right, I love the steps on this canal. You can just really kind of see the history, you know, how they're worn. So, uh, absolutely. It was a heck of a find, this for me this new way in and I hope you're going to enjoy it too. So where we're heading is just straight on. There is a big sign there. The bridges are all numbered as well in case you missed this but it is quite unique. Just been kindly shown the gate. <laughs> Didn't know that one was there as well. Right just through here. That's great proper oak tree and a genuine natural wild meadow. That's great. It's a gentle climb, but this is one of the hottest days of 2022. So uh, I did pick this specifically today because it's not too exhausting, but it's uh, really well looked after. Right. Even though there might be a potential recession coming, I always tend to uh, eat off the bush. Mum, blackberries are good this year. The views are opening up, but I'm going to save them. But uh, yeah, all the fruit on offer uh, is fantastic. <laughs> I really need to learn about butterflies. There's loads up here. It's wonderful. So after one and a half K and just over half an hour we just come here and take a right now growing up these were all over the place but now you don't hear them a lot at all grasshoppers it's fantastic 
So as you can see, there's loads of wildlife on this walk. And hopefully uh, we've got some more to come. So just keep right here. 40 minutes, two kilometers, different world. So this is Green Farm and we're just gonna walk through this. If walls could talk, it's just a wonderful building this. Now also, from what I figure, that barn provides something amazing. If you can hear all this noise, Wonderful, his swallows. They are so rare now. There's a whole load feeding on the floor there. So it's fantastic, it's like an oasis for them. There's a really good sign here. Just come past the barn and we're just going through here. I've just heard a raven as well. That is brilliant. Just through that over this. So here we are in Lime Park. Um, honestly, for most of you, it will be half an hour. I've just been really enjoying the wildlife, but you can either go up there, or what I'm gonna do is take a left. So Alderley Edge is in the middle of the shop. Over there are the Claridian Mountains of North Wales. I can see Widnes, Fiddler's Ferry over there. Just going over central Cheshire, Manchester in the middle. Then we're moving over to places such as Bury and Rochdale. It's just one heck of a vista for not really that much effort. Park just opening out properly. It's a great place. Right, so just after if you're doing normal walking, 40 minutes, just about 2.4k. But this is the first point where you can turn back. We will be coming back this way anyway, um, but that should turn it into a walk just around about uh, 4.5k. But what I'm going to do is carry on down towards Lime Hall. I'll give the uh, British aristocracy the due. They didn't half give us some good places to go out to. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, this is the melee. So this is the main car park and uh, we're just going to walk through it because I'm going to end at the cage. Well worth a visit if you get the chance. But we're just going straight ahead following those trees. Built in 1534, if I recall, as a hunting lodge. So the ladies could watch the men as they hunted on the Lime Hall estate. But it's a magnificent landmark that you can see for miles. It's a real part of the local landscape, the cage. Magnificent place. If there's a flag flying, by the way, it means you can go in. Happens a few times a year. As with all these things, they built them properly. Just over towards the Dark Peak and Kinder Scout. So, 4.3 kilometers, around about an hour. Absolutely fabulous views. So, let's go back. We're nearly at 900 feet elevation. It's 270 meters. And uh, you'll be pleased to know that really, other than a couple of small bits, it really is all downhill. <laughs> so uh, let's go back into the main park. So we just take a right here and we're near the junction as to where I said you could first turn around. So here we are where I initially said you could turn around so the cage added on another 45 minutes so roughly say you'd be between an hour and a half and two getting back to this point it added on 3k but it was so worth it so we're just going straight on where that sheep's kindly uh, barred the way forward
back to the views. Just approaching the gate here, and this is the exit to the park. They can sometimes lock it basically at dusk, so uh, just bear that in mind. So, just at the marina, just above where we started, which is literally only about 50 metres away. So, that was a total of seven kilometres and about two hours. Honest to goodness, it felt a lot longer than two hours, but in the sense of there was just so many different views. The, the, the wildlife was fantastic, everything. So, thank you very much for coming with me to Lime Park from Poynton. I've really enjoyed it.